Hello traders and welcome back to my YouTube channel IPDA Trader. Now in today's video we are going to be talking a little bit about market structure okay. This is a very very important concept and a very important tool in your smart money understanding. I truly believe it is the foundation guys so you want to make sure you understand market structure very well right. I've received countless questions asking me hey how do i determine my structure what time frame should i work with maybe the 15 minute is telling me a different story than potentially the four hour which one should i focus on right so all these questions i'm hoping i can answer those in this video right we're not going to be getting very technical in terms of um okay this is your let me actually grab the tool this is your external point over here anything in between is internal flow delivery right something of this sort we're not going to be discussing that idea very in depth matter of fact i'm just going to help you with your approach to market structure so that you can have a little bit of a systematic way of de uh, determining your structural plays okay so with all that being said guys if this sounds like something you want to learn today once again make sure you stick to the entire video because i'm going to be trying my best to provide you with as much value and information so that you can then go ahead and determine your structure points and your structural place in whatever market you're working with because once again these concepts apply to a every single market okay it's how they deliver it's how they function so now with all that being said guys let's actually get started with today's topic of discussion so traders we're back on the charts and as we said before guys i'm not going to be discussing the idea of uh, market structure very technical because i already did a video on that topic i'm not sure about the title of that video so feel free to walk around my channel you should be able to find that bit of information over there okay we're more so going to be talking a little bit about your approach to market structure because once again i received the question of which time frame is valid for my structure and really there is no answer to that okay it depends on and is dependent on your approach to market structure so we're looking at a market like this where would you consider the structure points to be okay and once again pause the video if needed i want you to answer that question for me where do you consider the market uh, the structure points are laying in this market and if you're smart enough you should be able to tell me that hey this market is absolutely ranging right which is honestly not surprising because once again we're approaching the end of the year so this is expected okay if you have some sort of experience in the market you understand why this is currently happening and how people are constantly getting manipulated and liquidated with positions because people cannot stop trading when they should honestly not be trading at this point but whatever right people are free to do whatever they want with their money so i'm not on no one to say what you should be doing or not but once again this market is completely ranging right so let's actually move a little bit to the left and let's try to work on market structure so the first question that i get all the time hey man what time frame right and this is dependent on your approach to the market in general, right? If you're someone that has a full-time job and has, let's say, only one to two hours a day to look at the market and is very limited in that sense, then you might want to be working with higher time frame, right? Let's zoom into the four hour. And being honest, guys, it's much better working with higher time frames. Because point number one, they have more orders, so they're more likely to hold specific zones that you may want to be looking at. And the price action and delivery is much cleaner as it takes longer to build. So you know the movements are going to be making sense, right? As long as you know how to read market structure. So we're going to be simply going over here. Let's say we zoom into a little bit of a lower time frame, maybe the two hour, and you look at a structural play like this, right? just as an example um the swing points in this market lay over here right i've already denoted them right you have you have a low over here this was responsible for this high we then came back down to the origin block over here just as i always teach 
then we move all the way back up again and create a new higher high so you know external structure in this market is bullish right but now as you zoom in you will get extremely confused because you will find moves up and down without any clear retracements and stuff so you will get confused now when we look at something like this and this is something that i trade very often patterns like this right where you have a just forget everything else okay focus on this bit of price action over here so we focus over here you identify this as your break you can see the impulse coming down over here guys just as i always teach want to see the impulse then we print a new low which essentially stops over here then we retrace you can see the retracement occurring right and you can anticipate that because once again you have to be partnering market structure with everything else otherwise you're not going to be able to make sense of what's actually happening in the markets okay so that's why it's important that even though you want to understand market structure extreme extremely well you want to be partnering those ideas with everything else that you know okay so we look at this and at this point in time um let's say we stop the market over here you should be able to to understand if you're working with these time frames over here right let's say the one hour two hour three hour four hour five hour chart that hey this is my last impulse coming down once again right this is the low that it made so now i can anticipate a retracement right whether that is into a poi over here imbalances fail a, another block over here whatever it may be and then continue dropping reason being is because you are seeing the order flow delivery is bearish right reason for it once again we have move up right then move down impulsive that breaks market structure over here so you most likely understand that this high should not get taken out if we are indeed going to be continuing the, the moves down in the delivery lower right so let's play the market market retraces as we've seen before right hits a specific point that once again i'm not going to be covering over here because i do run a mentorship and i'm not going to be explaining you everything here on youtube for free but nevertheless i'm still trying to provide you with value and information okay so we see that retracement we hit a specific price point and we continue lower now as we trade below this low over here guys and we're just simply following structure okay as we trade below this low over here this becomes your new uh, protected high right over here and you can anticipate that hey if we start retracing all the way back over here i'm most likely going to be interested in looking for sales right reason being it's because we had a low that got taken out we have a structural point established that mitigated a previous block so now we can safely say that hey if we retrace and return all the way back here we're only doing that to allow smart money to get involved into more sell positions in order to possibly continue new lower right and that's how you would read market structure but let's now talk a, a little bit about the fractal nature of the market right because even though this is correct what i've just explained to you you have to understand that every single time frame may be presenting you a different structural play right so it's up to you as a trader to choose with what what time frames do you want to be working with right if you want to be scalping the market then you might want to be looking at a 15 minute structure and those are pretty valid as well right is it's just about creating the narrative and story for yourself so that you can have confidence and you're comfortable with your executions right so let's try to find something interesting over here right let's look at this specific leg down right and i believe i showed this example in a previous video for now let's remove the asian liquidity pools because once again we're not talking about that and let's focus on this idea over here this time we have a low once again we have a previous high over here price moves back retraces hits a block melts down now what is your expectation in this market are you trying to buy it are you trying to sell it and why right these are questions you want to be asking yourself and as you can see for me this was pretty clear a expansion of the range so you most likely know that a retracement is probably to unfold so that smart money can possibly continue lower right very simple we then get that new low right just as the previous example we get a new low over here price moves all the way back retraces let's grab the rectangle retraces into a block over here whatever you want to use 
and boom, mails all the way back down, right? Reason being is because you're following the, the delivery. And once again, every single time frame is valid. It is about um, how do you determine your high time frame narrative and what uh, time frames do you want to be working with in terms of your lifestyle, okay? Let's do the, uh, let's prove that idea over here. Let's go to a five minute. Let's focus on this specific retracement leg, right? We understood that this was uh, the previous 15 minute retracement leg coming back up. So we look at something like this, right? You can see some sort of, um, let me grab my tool once again, low, high, higher, low, right over here, right? As we trade above, that high we have now this structure unfolding okay bullish delivery now you can expect buys where can you get involved well in previous areas of interest right you could say to yourself hey we have a pretty nice order block sitting over here right you can use this you can use the entire zone you can refine that to this block you can do whatever you want in that sense okay i'm just trying to explain you and give you the ideas over here you could have used this block and you say to yourself hey five minute structure is showing me bullish delivery so i may want to be getting involved in buy positions somewhere over here where am i going to be targeting well i may want to be targeting the previous high right and maybe not right above it because i'm not sure we're going to be breaking above that maybe i just want to uh, test the high right get a move up to test that and then potentially continue lower okay so let's continue following structure over here we indeed come back down move all the way up retest this high drop all the way back down right we fail to make a new lower low so these cells over here were not easy to catch because once again if you're looking at this delivery over here i'm not sure why why anyone would even bother in trading something like this right even though there's structure to be read over here if we go to a one minute we may be even able to get more information about that right let's look at this over here you can see how um, structure shifts back bullish right and once again the same idea applies you have a low this 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 now you have something like this unfold and if you're going to be scalping the market you are here you can say to yourself hey i have this structural play i have my let's say high time frame narrative and confluence i'm looking for buys where at this previous structure block over here you drag it across you'll see how we tap that and we make a new high now we make a new high cool what does that mean well we can now use this same origin over here and we look to the right. Um, did we ever return back? Yes, we do. We do return back at some point and it fails because once again, you're only watching the one minute. You're not taking into consideration the story behind price. And once again, that is what's important at the end of the day. Okay. You can use whatever time frames you're comfortable with. And you just have to understand the structural plays the delivery and everything else that you're looking at okay that is enough for you in terms of structure you don't have to confuse yourself with oh one time frame is telling me this this other time frame is telling me the other thing right no that's not important it's about working through multiple time frames right and determining the structure points that are comfortable for you let's talk a little bit about gj for example over here on the daily time frame right we can see we are at a very important area over here, guys. This is a previous structure point, more specifically, a previous origin that was actually responsible for um, a breakup that broke structure to the left. So you can anticipate, and this is where you can see the mitigation already unfolding, right? If we do not break below this structure point, we're probably going to be going all the way up and making a new higher high, right? And this is a very long-term play, but something that could potentially unfold. So you're using structure, right? And let's write some things over here. Structure as anticipation, anticipation, okay? This is key. You determine your structure based on the time frames right time frames that you want to be working with working with um yeah that's pretty much it plus structural play you're focusing on you confirm those ideas 
by applying different tools such as liquidity, uh, POI, timing, whatever it may be, right? You don't want to be essentially trading structure alone because structure alone will never tell you when um, when to buy and sell, okay? You want to be using it as an extra tool for yourself. Just, um, once again, we're talking about GBP, JPY over here, and you can see that structurally, you should be looking for bias. Now you go ahead, you zoom into the lower time frame, and you confirm that idea. How would you do that? And let's actually move over this idea over here. You would simply look for more shifts and breaks in lower time frames, right? So that your higher time frame and the lower time frame will be pointing in the same direction. Once again, guys, it's not about the time frame that you use. It's about putting everything together, okay? So I'm not trying to make this video too long. We're approaching holiday season. I have many things to take care of. I have a family to work with and do stuff with. So once again, I'm going to be rather busy, okay? So please understand that. And yeah, that's pretty much the ideas that I wanted to present uh, in this video, guys. You want to understand your high time frame narrative. You want to be partnering that with your structural play. And you want to be deciding on your structure based on the time frames that you are comfortable to work with. Okay. So I really do hope, guys, this makes some sense over here. Once again, we're not discovering new things. We're simply understanding what you already know so that you can be more comfortable with those ideas over there. Okay. So, with all that being said, guys, I wish you a good and profitable trading. Uh, more videos uh, are probably going to be uploaded very soon. Feel free to comment video suggestions. Leave a like, subscribe if you actually enjoyed what I taught you over here. And I will see you guys very soon. Take care.